Hello, this is Sean Kelly, and these are my highlights from the 2023 edition of Fan Expo Canada. The first day of the convention is the quietest, so it allows me to walk around and check out the various sponsor booths. This includes a booth for the new Disney Plus series Ahsoka, featuring various props from the film, and also a 360 degree video experience. I also checked out the Paramount Lodge, featuring installations for the Twisted Metal TV series, Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, and the show Yellowstone. There is also a Cineplex Pictures slash Lionsgate booth featuring displays for the new Hunger Games film, as well as Saw X. The first panel of the convention was of the cast of the original Scream. However, due to the ongoing sag after strike, the questions were a little more of the general variety. Uh, for some questions as well. Talk about being in Toronto, Canada. Have you been here before? Um, any memories of either shooting here or being here? Or, uh, what's it like being back in Canada? I'm home. Yeah! Matthew, you drove, drove here, right? Where, where were you that you drove? Uh, I was dropping a kid off at college. <laughs> That's okay, they needed to go. <laughs> Goodbye. I was unable to make it back on Friday, so I returned on Saturday, which is typically the busiest day of Fan Expo. I got to see a panel with none other than Jason Lee, who talked about his skateboarding career. I actually got my first skateboard in 1977, and that was sort of like, you know, I got the skate bug, and I pursued it from then on, you know, and made it my mission to become a professional skateboarder. Um, and so that was kind of the beginnings of, that was the beginnings of everything, and the thing that ultimately got me out into the world and you know touring and stuff. So that was my, that's that was how I gained exposure to the world was through skateboarding. The crowds on Saturday are so bad that it is quite difficult to move between the two buildings without facing large bottlenecks from the crowds. So I spent most of the day in the North Building checking out the various merchants and other booths. I also got my photo taken of the legendary Sharon and Bram of Sharon, Lois and Bram fame. Uh, later in the day, I saw a panel with uh, Meghna Wen, best known for voicing Mulan and being on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and The Mandalorian. We came from Hong Kong to the States. Um, I grew up in New York. And, yeah! And I learned English in New York. And when I came up to Toronto, there was definitely that energy. You know, that East Coast kind of like edgy, in-your-face energy. The final day of Fan Expo is still busy, but not as bad as Saturday. After an early morning panel with Christina Ricci, I went to see a panel with Toronto's own Stephen Amell. You know, I have a very special relationship with this convention. I, I think it was either 2013 or 2014. It was the first <clears throat> convention where I did an appearance as you know, as me, um, I had been to San Diego Comic Con, and then we were back here in 20 to August of 2012 to screen the pilot of Arrow uh, before it came out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, so yeah, so and I think this is probably the man. I think this is probably the fifth or sixth. I basically come every other year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. One of the remnants of Fan Expo's horror programming is Black Fawn Distribution, who hosted a New World Horror panel on Sunday afternoon. Films that are like, that we've written ourselves, and also a ton of films that, you know, other writers have brought us. Uh, we've also produced a ton of films with other directors as well, uh, including a bunch of people here. Uh, we did Death Valley with Mads, and me and Phil were okay. We just, uh, we started making movies years ago as, like, as a kid's because we were much younger than 
Uh, but yeah, we went out and we just started making movies like in our backyard and well, no one else was really doing it. It was like early 2000s. And we went and we wrote a script called Desperate Souls. And it was just like, like there was like no YouTube back then. It was like, just we just went out. I think we bought like the script writing for dummies book. I like some chapters, some chapters. <laughs> and, uh, and we just went out and we wrote the script and it was, you know, it was horrible and too long. And it was just, you know, for us, we were just like, yes, this is amazing. I think we went to camera with like the first draft of it or something. And, uh, and we just casted like all of our best looking friends and we brought them in. And, uh, and, you know, like we literally, people were just walking up to us. Like, I think we were in the bar at one point and one, some dude was like, told like game that he's like, I want to audition for your movie, I want to audition. And he was like, well, Chad's right over there. And I was like sitting in this booth and he comes over and he's, and he's just like, starts yelling at me. And he's like, what the hell are you doing, man? I saw you with my girlfriend. And I was like, sitting there and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and he's there and he's like, kind of like, there's some people in between us, but it like turns into like a thing. And I'm like, all right, what the hell is this guy doing? He's taller than me and I'm a very gentle dude, you know? I, I, uh, so I'm like, all right, let's talk about this, whatever. It's like, then he gets like really close, really in my face, and he stops. He's like, my name's Ben. I just want to audition for your movie. And I was like, go, man. <laughs> The remainder of my day at Fan Expo was spent walking around the show floor until the early close time at 5 p.m. And that wraps up my highlights of the 2023 Fan Expo Canada. I will see you next year.